In this section, we're going to talk about branching. Branching is the way that you can create different tracks of code that all have a common source. So for example, say you have multiple versions of your website. You have a release that you make, and then you add some new changes, you add some new features, and then you make a new release. Each one of those releases may be their own branch. That way, as you're adding new features to the second version of your site, you can be working on and release bug fixes for the first version. You've probably seen this kind of release system for other types of software where there are minor releases, where there are bug fixes made, and then there are major releases where new features are rolled out. The dynamic around that is actually fairly complex because as you add the bug fixes to that first version, you'll want to usually roll in those bug fixes with the second version, but for the features that you're adding to the second version, you don't want to pull those into the first version. But occasionally you'll find a bug on the second version and want to pull that into the first version without pulling in the features. By having a common repository for both of them, that is, instead of creating a repository for your version 1 and a separate repository for your version 2, you then have the flexibility of using branching and merging in order to manage some of these complex transactions. Now what I just described with the release cycle is one legitimate version of using branching and merging, but there are many others as well. The actual mechanism of branching and merging is fairly simple, and what adds complexity is simply the rules that you enforce for your particular project. For example, if you have releases, then you need to enforce a certain interaction between the new release and the old releases. Throughout this series, we're going to explore a set of uses for branches that all come together for a complete workflow. And we're going to work up to that rather complicated workflow by understanding what each type of branching is for and what sort of rules need to be enforced around it in order to maintain a sane, predictable, and stable environment for your development. Now just to be clear, while we're talking about different types of branches, they're all the same thing to get. They're all a branch. And the difference is how we enforce rules around that particular branch. For those of you who come from a different version control system, namely Subversion, branching and merging in Git is far less complicated and expensive than it is in Subversion. In Subversion, you need duplicate copies of your entire repository or your checkout in order to do a branch and merge. But in Git, things work differently. You can have all of your branches and all of your merges in the same repository without having to take up more space. So only the differences between branches are taking up space on your hard drive. This means that you don't really need to worry about restricting your workflow to use a limited number of branches just because of performance. The main problem that you run into is simply keeping track of all of your branches and knowing what they're all for. The first type of branch that we're going to cover is a feature branch or a topic branch. And the purpose of a branch like this is to create a separate track of development while you work on a particular feature before rolling it into the main line of development. In this case, our main line of development is going to be our master branch, which is the default branch that gets created with our repository. And then we're going to create a feature branch where we're going to work on our new feature. Now the reason why we might not want to do this on the main development branch is because we could be working on several features at the same time. And not all of them will be ones that we want to release at the same time. Also, some of the features might be experimental, and we're not quite sure if, in the end, we'll actually want to roll them back in. So keeping development on a separate branch makes it clean and easy to pick and choose what you pull into that main branch.